na jamii na sio mtu mmoja the entire family is wiped out by road accidents why because mwenye alikuwa amepanda hiyo boda boda achachukua chukumu lake yeye mwenyewe anataka kulaumu mwenye boda boda anataka kulaumu mwenye anaendesha anataka kulaumu waziri si kwamba wewe una uwezo ya kuamua kitu yenye inafaa kama sisi kama wa Kenya tungefuata kwanza kanuni za barabara tungeokoa maisha ya wakenya mtu anapanda matatu ya watu nne. yeye afungi belt yeye anaingia ni 14 sita lakini anaona 14 people wamekaa anasema songa songa tupendane wanaongeza wanaongeza gari wanaongeza imejaa alafu akiingia ndani yeye kazi yake ni kupika picha na kuweka tiktok anasema waziri wa barabara ako wapi na wewe mwenye uko hapa ulikuwa unapika picha wewe uko wapi eh, na unaendelea kupanda hiyo gari mwingine anapanda gari amepata uko ndani ya hiyo matatu dereva ni mlevi wewe unaona tu ananuka ulevi yeye ni mlevi hata alistaka aliinuliwa ndio akakalia steering na wewe bado unakaa kwa hiyo matatu asifa kuna matatu zingine kwa Kenya i want to request the people of Kenya if we take responsibility as the citizens and become conscious of the things we are going through i want to assure all of you that we will be able to sort out this problem of a road accidents because responsibility starts with those who are going to have the highest impact of those accidents which is you the passenger tumesikizana mpaka hapo najua mpendi kwa sababu ni afadhali ku blame waziri waziri ndio waziri yako wapi huyu gari lipokuwa anavatek waziri yako wapi i want us as citizens to take responsibility tunapoteza 5000 people every year e watu 1500 wenye wako miaka ya ile young age most of them kwa mambo ya ajali alafu watu karibu 30000 wako mahospitali wameumia